Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So happy to have you. And if you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Dr. John Pauls and I'm an instructional designer and educational technologist. I always love creating content that helps educators and professionals like yourself make learning or training more engaging, more efficient, more interactive, more technologically advanced. It's my passion. Now, as an instructional designer, what I do is I work with subject matter experts to create engaging learning experiences that are based on the science of learning. As instructional designers, we often use different tools to accomplish this, whether we're building interactives or creating quizzes. There are tons of different tools out there that you can use. For this video, I'm going to be reviewing iSpring's Quizmaker. iSpring is a course authoring suite, has tons of tools, I had never used them before. I definitely heard of them. Um, and so when they reached out and asked me if I would review their Quizmaker software, I was really excited to see what they were all about. So thank you to this video sponsor, iSpring. Make sure to check them out for any of your course authoring needs. And now it's time for Dr. John Reviews iSpring Quizmaker. So here is iSpring Quizmaker, and uh, iSpring is a e-learning course authoring suite, tons of different tools that are available to make your courses more interactive and engaging. This is Quizmaker, where you can design interactive quizzes with tons of different input opportunity. You see here, this is just a sample of what you can create with iSpring Quizmaker. I love this sort of assessment, this kind of drag and drop puzzle type of assessment. Um, oh, this is even more fantastic. Um, when I see things like this, where you're drag and dropping real life items, obviously it can be used in uh, corporate America, but as a former special education teacher, this can also be used to really highlight functional living skills and teach students who need some additional reinforcement. I am all about using technology to bridge the gaps in our educational system. Uh, so this is just one solution that you could use in your courses, I did not do too well, um, to <laughs> create interactive assessments. Now I'm interested to see what kind of assessment types they offer. So here we've got sequencing, matching, drag and drop, short answer, numeric, fill in the blanks, drag the words. I love all of this. So many different options, 14 question types that you can use. You can also provide custom feedback. Um, there are info slides to give some prerequisite information, branching scenarios. So it can be sort of like a choose your own adventure thing. I love this. It says it's compatible with 156 learning management systems. Um, this, it looks affordable. That's definitely affordable for what it is providing you for a year. So let's check it out and see more. Now, something important to note is that iSpring Quizmaker runs on Windows devices. So if you have a Mac, like I do at home, you'll have to install a virtual desktop and complete a couple extra steps in order to get the program running on your device. But don't worry, iSpring gives you a resource that tells you how to do this step by step and gives you a couple options to do so. This is a fairly common occurrence in course authoring software, so just know. Alrighty, so I did go ahead and I did install that in, on my computer. Really simple installation. And what you see in front of you, this is a pretty standard view for, um, it kind of mimics PowerPoint, but all of your course authoring tools are gonna kind of look like this. What you can see is I can actually look at the creation side of my questions and then I can see what it's gonna look like with the students and the slide. Right here, I can add those info slides that I was talking about. I can add question groups and introduction to the questions. So. This is all kind of pretty standard, um, really user friendly, right? It's going to, you look at the options, there are streamlined options, welcome to the quiz and just follow those prompts. So it says quiz title, I would replace it with the title of my quiz right here. So I know it can sometimes look really scary. I know that when I first started in course authoring tools, I was terrified, it's like I'm pushing too many buttons. But once you get in there and you start playing around, it really does become, you know, second nature. You're not going to break anything. Don't worry about breaking things. So here you see I added a question, a multiple choice question. I'm adding feedback, adjusting the scores based on if you get those responses correct. Um, I am indicating the correct answer, giving some more options. I'm adding, let's add another question type. Let's see, we've got sequencing. So I'm arranging the, what's the correct order for the order of operations put in my answer choices, give some feedback responses. Let's try the hotspot. Right here, I'm just going to go ahead and 
Um, I uploaded an image of the map and I'm drawing a trigger over the state of Florida. Um, and I'm going to name that trigger or the hotspot name Florida. And then I can actually go click on the first state of the continental US um, to be settled by the Europeans. And so when students click anywhere in that image that I have selected, it will be chosen as correct. So I love that option. Um, this one is one I really wanted to play with. So this is selecting different answer choices within a paragraph. So for this, I immediately think about when I was in school and I had to do, oh, I forget what it's called. The thing about <laughs> is the preamble to the constitution. We the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect union, right? Now, um, incredibly important for everybody to know. Um, and I remember when I was in school, I just had to memorize it and it was not the most effective for me. But here, I could actually set up this whole thing and make answer choices within the preamble. Um, and so then my students would have an interactive way to assess that. So I, I love that option. I really, really do. Let's see what else we've got going on here. Um, we did hotspots. We did Let's do drag and drops. Now this one, um, you know, it does take a little bit more time just because you're basically creating where you want things to be dragged and dropped into. You can see right here, I am just using the standard shape creation tools that they have. Um, and I'm gonna create uh, two boxes. I'm clicking over here to the form view so that I can actually arrange everything exactly as is needed. So. Um, right here, it's asking me, so what do you want to drag and where do you want to drop it? So what I'm going to do, uh, when I was in the classroom, I taught students with autism. And so I used to do this physically. I would bring in um, laundry baskets and we would sort our laundry for independent functioning. So here I'm doing the same kind of concept, except I am doing a more hyper quick option. But um, here, I, what you see right now, I'm putting an invisible layer pretty much over my baskets so that when um, the students drag the items from what, underneath to the designated basket, I can delineate um, whether it's right or wrong. So here we go. Let's preview. Again, this was a very quick, very, very quick, um, but this just, it looks wonderful. So here I'm just going to go and go through some of the different options. You see that it tells me that it's correct right there. This is our sequence, right? So this is a great, nice feature. I love that. Oh, our hotspot. Click on the first state of the continental US. We've got Florida. Oh, yes, we are correct because I indicated it in the correct hotspot. And here we go. We're doing our drop down for this work. So this, again, um, it's all going to be based on your needs. This is a very easy to use tool. It is affordable, especially for those who cannot, um, if you can't afford a full suite of uh, course authoring tools, this will give you a lot of options and it is significantly cheaper than if you were to go somewhere else. Um, I also love that you can actually see what your quizzes will look like uh, depending on the device the student is viewing it on. So here you can see I will be able to tell what it looks like on a cell phone. Uh, it's incredibly important when we create assessments or instruction in 2023 that we are doing design that can work to, with any device because our students are mobile, right? Now here we go, I'm going to go ahead and I wanna test out and see how it uploads into a learning management system. Whenever you are using a course authoring tool and you have created something, you export it as what is called a SCORM package, which is just a zipped file, right? And then you upload that SCORM package into uh, your learning management system so that it can pull all the contents and the information correctly. Alrighty, so I did download that quiz in a SCORM file. I'm in one of my courses in Blackboard, which is the learning management system I use. And I'm just going to upload that SCORM package right into my course. Every learning management system is gonna look a little different, but they're going to ask for some options. So I gotta give it a name for the quiz, a due date, how many attempts do I want the students to have. Typical stuff on the learning management side. Um, if it wanted it graded or do I not want it graded? And then I hit save and my quiz is ready for students. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what this looks like. I'm going into student preview so it mimics what the students will see. And let's see how this quiz turns out. So yeah, and remember I didn't put a lot of pictures in this because this is just kind of a little trial, but you can see it is really professional. It has all of the different features that I wanted it to have. It's giving feedback. I've got um, so many different options to assess learning with my students. And I just love that it is a super professional polished 
um, platform that will talk directly to your learning management system gradebook. And it just makes uh, running your digital classroom a little bit st more streamlined. Uh, I love this. Here is that drag and drop with our clothes sorting. Fantastic. It works just like I wanted it to work. So excellent job. So that is iSpring Quizmaker. I want to thank iSpring for reaching out and sponsoring this video. And uh, overall, I think that it is a solid product and give it two thumbs up. I think that it hits a unique niche in the market. We need some more interactive assessments and with the 14 assessment types and the ability to integrate into learning management systems and the price point, I think it's an incredible value. But with any technology, it's always going to be based on your needs and your specific situation for your learners or for your employees. So make sure to check it out and, and analyze, does it make sense for my current organization and my needs? Um, make sure to check out iSpring Solutions and see everything that they have to offer and uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and follow for more educational technology or tech tips from Dr. John Pauls. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Keep innovating.